Once one of the largest employers in Beaver County, oil refining and freedom has employed thousands of people. Its history can be traced back to 1860 and has spanned nearly 15 decades. The first refining business to exist in Freedom was begun in 1860 when Samuel Keir opened a candle coal refinery near the mouth of Crow's Run. Soon, several other small refineries, including the Excelsior Refining Company, set up shop on the banks of the river in Freedom. By 1879, the refining of crude oil had become a national obsession. In that year, three Pittsburgh businessmen formed a partnership, constructing an oil refinery at Remington near today's Conway Yard. This small firm would lay the foundation for the company known as Freedom Oil. The company expanded its holdings in 1889, buying out the old Excelsior refinery and building new laboratories at Freedom. That same year, owner August Minke incorporated his company under the name Freedom Oil and soon the operation was employing nearly 200 workers. Over the next 30 years, Freedom Oil became one of the most trusted names in oil and gasoline products throughout the United States. By 1930, the Freedom Complex was producing 2,000 barrels of Pennsylvania crude each day. A second refinery at Coriopolis produced the company's motor oils. Commercial service stations around the country were sellers of the company's perfect blend of gasoline. During World War II, Freedom Oil was hit hard by wartime economics and the firm merged with the larger Valvoline Oil Company in 1944. Five years later, Freedom Valvoline Oil was sold to Ashland Oil and Refinery Company, which would have a presence in Freedom through the rest of the 20th century. While oil is no longer big business in Freedom, remnants of it can be seen throughout the community. Many people would always say that steel was king in Beaver County, but for many years, oil was the main industry in freedom.